How you doing guys? You're here with me, Lion XV, and we're doing a My Geek Box in the right month. So, um, it's a very big box, but uh, as I'm sure a lot of you know, it's not the size, it's what you do with it that counts. Um, let's just have a look and see what we did. Wow! I've got a full box of packing. Wow. So happy. Okay, seems a bit empty this box. Not gonna lie. We'll start and just pull stuff out. So first off, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a pin badge. I thought it was a, a coin, but it's not. Okay, Nuka Cola. I don't know why it's blue instead of red. Is there anything that? Oh, it's a Nuka Cola Quantum, apparently. Let's open it and have a look. Let's see. Ah, I almost stabbed myself with the badge. It's metal. It's not bad. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. I would have preferred a red one. And it's got the... Uh, can I get that? Yeah, Fallout on the back. That's not bad. It's alright. It'll do. Um, let's go the next one. Rick and Morty. Official coin. So we've got two of these. I got one last month and one this month. I prefer the me seats and the pickle Rick one, definitely. Let's have a proper look at this one. I'm Mr. Me Seeks, look at me. Um, existence is pain, I just want to die. Look at that. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Very uh, shiny. It's good design. And on the back, we've got the usual. Whoop. Blinding from the light. Rick and Morty the same as before. It's another one to add to the collection. Not too bad. Uh, let's go with a t-shirt. Oh, it's a Rick and Morty t-shirt. It's grey. Again, not a bad colour. Uh, yeah, that's alright. It's not too in your face. Let's try this on. There we go. That's, that's alright. I like it. Not the best t-shirt, but definitely not the worst. Um, gosh, there's not much left. <laughs> Let's go with, oh, another Fallout. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yep. Pin badge. My Geekbox exclusive. So we, we've got our own exclusives. That's good for them. There we go. Sunset Sarsaparilla established 1918, is that? Yeah, 1918. And the same as the one on the back. Yeah, I used to love Fallout until 4 and then 76. Um, they just got really mainstream, as in they toned down so much stuff on it because I, I don't know if they thought it was too complicated for people to understand. But um, if I were... Bethesda, with a Fallout license, I would have produced two different types of Fallout games. One going back to the old isometric um, turn-based, and the other one, first-person shooter kind of one. It's not difficult. You've, you've got the resources. But apparently not the drive. It's not enough money if you want games as a service. Oh my god, and this is it. This is, this is all of it now. Um, it doesn't say... Five and six. So we are getting a full season. By the looks of it. So if you're not a Star Trek fan, you'd be a bit disappointed. So let's have a quick look inside because there's not much else to look at. Yeah, pretty standard now. There is some nice artwork in them. But again, if you're not a Star Trek fan, you're not going to be very interested, and that's the old style. There we go. Yeah, that's that one. Let's check out this one. Of course I've got to open them, can't just let them uh, gather dust in the plastic. Oh, where's the... Romulan Warbirds, Klingon Bird of Prey. Yeah. Uh, prologue. 
dog. More modern kind of art style. And then I'm guessing at the back there's the uh, the original series throwback kind of thing. I, I think these carry on from each other. Let's see. Has it got a part on it? No. It's got some interesting facts. But, but overall, they are a great read. Um, I won't, won't lie and say that I haven't read them all already. But um, I'm thinking it looks a little bit sparse this time. There's no figure or anything like that. Just two cheap badges that you can get for a couple of pounds each. And a t-shirt. That is the all of the haul. Very uh, misleading for such a big box. I'm guessing we ran out of boxes. Or a box for the right size. Because uh, that could have been packed a lot smaller. So it's going to be a short video this one. We'll just total them up now quickly. And um, see how we've done. So these badges, they're, they're alright. But they're nowhere near the same amount as a figure. Or anything like that. Even two of these. I'd only pay say... £5 each. So it's £10 coin. Um, I struggle with this one because uh, I think I've said 10 in the past, but I don't know if they're really worth it. The more I get of them, the less effort that seems to be put into them. So uh, that's. So we'll give that. Uh, Ten. Uh, five are each for the books, that's twenty. And another five for the t shirt. It's not a great one. It's not one that I'd pay twenty pounds for, unlike the last month's one, the uh Nes Zapper. So yeah, five pounds, ten pounds. I'll say five, just because um yeah, it's not the best. So that's not a lot more than what we actually paid for it. So five, ten. 25, 20. So yeah, about 25, 30 pounds worth. Um, that's, I think I'm going to have to give the uh, My Geek Box a strike for this one. So we're on two strikes for the amounts now. So one more and we'll have to swap boxes. It, which, if I do have to swap, I'm, I'm going to be a bit upset because I, I, I like these, the Star Trek novels. But um, you can't just post falls out as the main thing when um, somebody might start halfway through, might finish and not get the full set or they might just not even like Star Trek or comics, it is a kind of a niche thing very uh, very targeted because um, not all Star Trek fans like comics or annuals and not all annual people like Star Trek but you know I'm, I think I'm in a small demographic that actually likes these. But we'll give it one more month. We'll check next month and see. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be at least double. If not, then we'll have to look around. So I don't know how many is in the set either. Hopefully the last of the set is next month. And then I can cancel if it's not good enough. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all in my next video.